We come to question number two, test five review. It says, which of the following is true about current and resistance? A, current is measured in ohms. B, the resistance of a short wire is higher than a long wire. Uh, C, the resistance of two resistors in series, in series is lower than each one by itself. D, the power supplied by a battery depends on its voltage output plus the amount of current running through it. So let's go through each of these and we won't just answer uh, each one, but we'll also use it as a way of explaining some of this material. So A, a current is measured in ohms, that is wrong. Current, whose symbol is the letter I, is the amount of current flow through wire, it's measured in amps. Uh, voltage, whose symbol is V, it's the potential difference between the two ends of a battery, so it's the voltage supplied by a battery. That is measured in volts. Resistance, whose symbol is uh, the letter R, and that is measured in ohms. Ohms. When you write an amps, you write it as A, usually, amps. Volts, you write it as V. And ohms, you write it with the Greek letter omega, okay? So resistance is measured in ohms, Greek letter omega. So uh, a current is measured in ohms, that is false. B, the resistance of a short wire is higher than a long wire. So the resistance of a wire uh, ends up being equal to this equation. Resistance is resistivity times length over A. The longer the wire is, the more resistance the wire has. So if a wire is longer here, this wire will have uh, more resistance than this wire. Why? Because it's longer. So the current flow has to go a longer distance in order to go from one end to the other end, right? So it kind of makes sense that the longer the wire is, the more resistance it has than this wire. So uh, how about the A? The A is the cross-sectional cross area of the wire. Right? So if we had another wire, which was the same length here, was uh, thinner, this wire's resistance, even though it's the same length as this, this wire's resistance would be higher than this wire because it is thinner. So it's harder for the current to go through it, right? Think of this as like water flow through a hose, right? The longer the hose is, the, the farther the water has to go through the hose to get to the other side, right? So the longer it is, the more resistance. The short, the, the thinner the hose is, the harder for the water to go through, right? So this one has more resistance than that one since the area is less than the area of that, right? We can call this area prime. So this one has the biggest resistance here. We can call this R3. This one R2, this one R1, right? These two have the same area. This one has the shorter area than that, but the same, a bigger length. So in order of greatness, you have R3 is greater than R2, which is greater than R1. Out of them, this is the least resistance. So coming to this then, uh, we can say that uh, the resistance of a short wire is higher than a long wire. That is false. Short wire should have less resistance, right? If it had said the resistance of a thin wire is higher than a thick wire, the, that would have been true. The thinner the wire is, the more resistance it has. But since uh, it says short wire, that uh, is false. Um, then we go to C. The resistance of two resistors in series is lower than each one by itself. In series means what? In series means you connect a battery to one resistor, then you connect it to another resistor, R2, and so series means basically end-to-end. -end. Well, from the logic of this uh, wire construction, you can say, well, imagine this as one wire with a certain length, and then imagine this as another wire with another length, right? If you put them in series, you're basically creating an effective wire that's even longer, right? So you would think that the resistance should increase, and the answer is it does increase. The, it ends up that resistors in series add up this way. Uh, R total is R1 plus R2. So this one is wrong. The resistance of two resistors in series is lower than each one by itself.
Okay? Now, what if the problem had said the resistors of two resistors in parallel is lower than each one by itself? That would have been true, right? In parallel means what? In parallel means you have a battery, you connect the resistor like this, and you connect another one like this, R1, R2. They have the same voltage across each one. And think about it like this. Imagine as if this one is a wire with a certain uh, area, A1. Imagine this one is a wire, another area, A2. Imagine their lengths are the same, okay, for the sake of argument. So now if you put them in parallel, what are you doing? Essentially, you're creating the net effective resistance of a one bigger wire, right? So this is area two, okay? So it's, effect, it's uh, acting as if it's the bigger area, A total. So we want a thinner wire this way, a bigger, uh, uh, thicker wire that way, parallel. They act as a, a bigger, uh, a thicker area. So what is that going to do? Well, we learned resistance is rho L over A. If the area gets bigger, what happens to the resistance? It gets less, okay? So you would think from the logical argument of that, if it said the resistance of two resistors in parallel is lower than each one, it would have been true, right? It ends up that resistors in parallel add up like this. One over R1, one over the resistance of this, plus one over R2, one over the resistance of that is equal to one over the total resistance. And so the total is less than either one alone. Their reciprocals add up, okay? So which gets us to the last question, and that says D, the power supplied by a battery depends on its voltage output plus the amount of current running through it. So if you have a battery and you connect it to a resistor, how much po uh, power is the battery supplying? Well, just knowing the voltage of the battery is not sufficient, right? The power of the battery is going to equal voltage of the battery times the current, right? So what is the current going to equal? Well, the current is going to equal what kind of resistor you connect the battery to, right? So the current is going to equal the voltage of the battery divided by the resistance of the resistor. So we get power of the battery is equal to VB squared over R, okay? So what, depending on what kind of resistor you connect the battery to, okay, then that changes the power output of the battery. So the, the total outcome, the conclusion of this is that the amount of power a battery is supplying depends on the voltage rating of the battery, okay, let's say it's a one and a half volt battery or three volt or nine volt, times the current that the battery supplies to the circuit, which eventually also runs through the battery, right? The greater the current, the greater the voltage, the greater the power will be. So part D is right, that is the correct choice. The power supplied by a battery depends on its voltage output plus the amount of current running through it. Or it could have just said here, and the amount of current running through it. Or it could have said the product of the voltage supplied by the battery and the current running through it, right? So any of those wordings mean the same thing. So that means uh, both of them is gonna change the power output of the battery, okay?